the elephant in the room is the amount of guys. Adam, what pleased you most about that performance today? Uh, I think it was, uh, look, the, the amount of guys, the elephant in the room is the amount of guys that were missing. You know, we had, I think we had half a dozen there. Um, and we had like seven, seven players this week that didn't participate in one training run, not even captain's run. They just turned up to play today. So um, we've worked really hard on our culture and I know, um, you know that's as good as next man up mentality that I've seen from the boys to defend the way they did. I think at the end of the game, there was about 10 games between about four players that were in the middle, you know, 10 games between them. So um, yeah, I, I'm proud coach, proud of the staff to work overtime to get players ready, but ultimately these boys are the ones that went out there and worked their backsides off. What's been the big shift in your defensive mindset? You know, it's such a good two games now, one try each. Yeah, I wouldn't say a shift of, it's been, uh, well, I know our mindset for the last couple of years, and we've probably been heavily criticised for our attack, but I always thought coming here that we needed to make sure that we invested in um, in our defence because I think that's your character. Um, so we've worked really hard over the last couple of seasons at our character and, and I know we're only two games in but we've defended really well but I felt at the back end of last year we defended um, quite strongly towards the end but we've obviously, you know, we've focused a little bit more with the ball as well so they're sort of complementing each other I hope. Um, yeah, what's it seems it looks like they've been playing together for ages. Yeah, they're um, just the perfect match, I think. They're they're um, both their temperament is quite calm. I know out on the field, you know, talking to Tyson and a few of the boys that they they're level headed. They're both intelligent footy players, so during the week they prepare well. They you know they get all the uh, the notes that they want on the opposition and how we want to play and then they train well. So, I don't know, they've just got a really good temperament that's complementing each other at the moment. And you said, I think it was seven, seven or eight guys didn't train much during the week. Who were they and what were the issues there? Yeah, uh, without, you know, we'd be here all day the name and eight of them, but like obviously Clem and DSAF and KP, uh, Daniel didn't get up for this one, but, you know, Fitz, Lachlan Fitzgibbon didn't participate in anything this week with his ankle, and he has a different issue down there now, but I thought he started really well today. Mitch Barnett didn't participate, Kurt Mann didn't participate all week. They just worked on themselves, a, we, a little bit knocked around, obviously round, round one bumps and bruises, so... Um, but yeah, no credit to them. They worked their backsides off to get out there. They wanted to play. It was really important for us to get in front of our town again. We haven't been here for a long time, and um, you know, I, I, I'm sure that they're proud of the players today after that effort. And, and how are you looking? How's looking? Um, I'm not too sure on fits. He'll go for scans. I think they've ruled out the nasty. I don't think it's ACL anymore, MCL. Um, but he'll go for scans. Um, look, we've got three, probably three of them that'll aim for next week in Kale and Daniel and um, Clem. Yeah, we'll aim for next week, so hopefully um, they'll, they'll uh, participate. Um, we've got Edric playing tomorrow for the first time in a couple of years, so I don't know, there's there's a few guys to come back yet. And just on Gags' form, like I know, it was, I always thought like it was an underrated signing of the off-season people sort of forgot about but like what he's done for you in the first two weeks has been really impressive in his home coming back here yeah he's such a good competitor at the end he's chasing everything doesn't let the scoreboard dictate um his effort um and i think we could learn from that we've leaked a couple of we've leaked to try each week in the back end so we're not completely it's only two games so we're not sitting here thinking everything's rosy but in terms of gags, he competes so well, but he also makes players around him um, better. He just continually talking to Dom Young and our younger, inexperienced guys. Gags is um, outstanding. Tyson, what is beating the Roosters on their home deck and then having an undermanned team out there today without Clem and Pyle? What does that do for the belief of the, the group after sort of a rocky up and down season last year? Yeah, it's been awesome. Um, I think it's touching it. The guys that, the younger guys that have stepped in there. Um, did a really good job. I think this time last year, if that happened, we'd probably be, um, you know, not as confident going into a game like this with a couple of guys down. But I guess we've worked on a lot of things in the off season and um, still two games in. But 
Um, we want to build from that and very proud of the boys. Um, there's a bit of a cloud coming in this game. Boys not knowing who was going to play, but um, the guys that stepped into that role just, just done the job. And the boys around them were just confident in that they were going to go out there and, and do their job. And um, like I said, two games in, really happy with the boys and the way they defended today, especially. Um, and hopefully we can build from that. Do you feel that as a player, do you feel like that's the main improvement from this year to last defence? Like where, where do you feel out there that you guys have really built in the last, over the summer? Yeah, obviously defence wins games and um, every team's working on their defence and wanting to um, defend well. But yeah, like Ed said, we've we've leaked a couple of tries late in both our first two games and they're probably little small areas that we want to work on if we want to be... Um, uh, Tom made a ladder at the end of the year, but um, it's a good starting point for us and yeah, proud of the boys and the way they defend today. I mentioned your attack. Matt, Matt said pre-game that you're moving the ball a lot more this year than last year. How much have you changed, I suppose, your style, the way you attack, or, or is it really just having the halves? On, I mean, obviously, Jake wasn't here last pre-season, but then, and having Adam, how much, you know, was it, is it the, the, the players or is it how much was it? How much of it is the style? Yeah, I reckon it's a combination of all of it. Um, it's definitely the players. Um, but obviously Joey's he's come in along with Blake Green and Willie Peters. have always had a sort of... Always had a style that we wanted to play and, and I think those three coaches are on the same page and then presenting it to the players. Um, but I wouldn't underestimate like not having that spine last year for the whole summer and then... You know, Caelan missed the first half a dozen. He came in and Mitch Pearce went out. And so we could never get any fluency with your spine. We've had that luxury this summer of having a spine together so you can form combinations. So Jake Clifford, he turned up in June, but he's worked the whole summer with, um, with Adam Clunes. But I, I think... You know, and the younger guys that are in, like Dom Young um, and even Bradman, they're all a year older. Just, I, I just think that there's a whole, there's a heap of variables. But you know, I don't want to take anything away from the players and then the coaches that have implemented. They've worked their backsides off and they've worked really hard. And again, we're only, I'm trying to temper this down. We're only two games in, um, but yeah, we we do have a better blend of being able to be powerful with our big guys and we'll be able to move the ball as well. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. They're, you know, classy footy team. They're, they're epitomise the next man up at the moment without, you know, Nathan. And I know they had a couple of guys um, on some injury clouds, but we, we cannot take anything for granted with that. They, um, they know the way they want to play. They know their defensive system so well. And it's a good test for us. You know, we've, um, we've started well, but it's a big test for us this week.